Hello everybody. Uh, welcome back. So today we will understand how we can use AWS to create an EC2 instance. So once you will have logged into your AWS console. Before that, if you are first time logging in, you created an account, then it will take some time, maybe a 12 hours or something, to activate your account once you register. In my case, that was the uh, case. It happened with me. And then once you have your account approved, you will get an email notification and then you can come back to your AWS console and you can see this kind of screen. This is the home page that you will see in your AWS console. So once you sign into your console, you click on EC2. There are various options available, but we are interested in creating an EC2 instance. So once you click on this, you will see several options. Your instance is running, your host, your IP, security groups, etc. Now we need to search for this option, launch instance. So once you have click, uh, clicked on launch instance, you will need to name your server, maybe my PHP hosting or maybe Suffer pay server. My application is known as Suffer pay, and then I will go ahead and create an Ubuntu. I can use from various options available over here. There, there are a lot of uh, images, OS images available. So you can pick any one of them, but make sure you pick only whichever is free tier eligible. So once you sign up your account with a card details, your account will be basically on free tire for a year or so there will be free some free tire credits that will be credited in your account which you can use maybe for any year if you're using very minimal amount and for that you need to choose this free tire eligible if there is something known as free tire eligible then only you choose that you will not be charged anything much if you're using very for very basic applications just for your trying purpose so in my case i will choose 18.04 right and this is a verified provider instance type t2 micro you see there are various options available over here as well it is basically on the cpu memory etc so i'll take uh, one vcpu 0612 gb memory right okay and then you select a key pair so this key pair when you are first logging in you will not have the key pair you can try and create a new key pair so I create uh, suffer pay keep it in PEM file is fine click on create key pair so download this PEM file and keep it very safe this is very important you have to keep that PEM file very safe now go to network settings you don't need to create anything you have all the allow SSH traffic from you can add your custom IP, that's okay for now. I'm just allowing all the traffic as of now. 8 GB is fine for me. Storage configurations, you can create more volumes, but let's not create it for a simple application. I'm just showing you a demo. You can create it if you require it. So purchasing option, spot instances, I'm not going to click on the spot instances. I'll keep it as it is. And then, okay. Then I'll create on launch instance. So if you see, my instance is getting created right now. So once I have the launch instance, I can see the launch log. Okay, my everything is succeeded. I go to instances and I'll see my suffer pay server. It is just this is still starting up I think it, it, it takes some time so let's wait for that time now your instance is running so if you see this is my public IP address and this is my private IP address within the AWS network this is the DNS that AWS will open up where my instance is hosted and your IPv6 I have not enabled this is the instance ID 
correct so that's it now you can start connecting to this IP just push it a bit up start going up there are various options available right so now go to security you'll see some security groups default security groups that are assigned now if you want to uh, if you want to add some filter rules for the traffic or firewall rules you can add it over here these are all my outbound and inbound rules i can edit it over there so these are inbound and outbound outbound rules are there you can go to networking let's see what is there in networking i think networking we have already seen it and then you go to storage this is my storage this is the volume 8 gb volume i have picked up so this is there status check let's see if I, my instance is running or not yes it is running monitoring let's see what is the monitoring checks right so that's it i think then i am i will be now able to connect to my ec2 instance i will show you now how to connect to the ec2 instance Go to EC2, EC2 dashboard and reload it. You see, instances running are 111 volume, security, key pairs, everything will be there. You can check your health dashboards. You can choose a zone. Now, let's see how you can connect to it ec2 instance now that we have created an ec2 instance we will try and connect it so before going into that you need to make sure you have chosen a proper region so suppose let's say you are in india so choose the most probable and the nearest location where the server instance <coughs> sorry where the server instance will be hosted so this is the closest data center in India. So that is Mumbai we have chosen. So here this the the instance will be hosted and your request will be served from here. So depending upon the location, choose your instances to set up there wisely because that also impacts the billing. So now let's go ahead and connect it. So if you see an option, click on connect. Now there are various options which we, with which you can connect. You can connect using and Amazon this thing. You can use a session manager. You can use a SSH client. You can use a serial console. Now we will mostly be using SSH client. Now there are two things that you need to take care. So let's go back. So suppose let's say you have created a key pair. Uh, let's view my key pair first. So if you see over here, this is the key pair. This is the interface that came up when you were you creating the instance, right? So now if you see, you have chosen RSA. We have chosen RSA earlier and PEM file format. Now this PEM file format can be used only with OpenSSH. It cannot be used with PuTTY. PuTTY will not allow you to use the PPK format. So make sure depending upon your uh, choice to connect, you can choose any one of them. Uh, for me, I have used OpenSSH, so I'll just try and connect it. So I'll just open bash. So using git bash also you can connect actually. So I'll show you that. Um, it's an E, I think, yeah. Now I will copy that command that we have seen in the instance. Okay, now copy this command directly and go ahead and try and paste it. Make sure you have the proper permission for sufferfindia.pem like that you will have xyzindia.pem. Right, click on enter. Okay, now this gets connected. Right. So once this gets connected, you can run all your Linux Ubuntu commands over here. So now we'll do first sudo apt. update the instance because we are doing it for the first time so let's update the repos and everything it will update so 
now once it got updated we can install sudo apt install install nginx Installing NGINX. Now, once my NGINX is installed, I can run this command sudo service nginx start and then I need to check the status sudo service nginx status so let me copy this command and run it again just for the clarity so now your ng nginx is installed on this server that's how you were able to access your EC2 instance so guys we will uh, we have seen how we can install ec2 uh, we can create an ec2 instance how we can access an ec2 instance and now we will see how we, we can basically access the ec2 instance from outside um, from a browser or any 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 application we will host a simple spring boot application on my ec2 instance and i will also show up a video on installing a php or a laravel based application on ec2 instance so subscribe for more updates on the series thank you